Right, hello everybody. We're in Berlin Ghetto again and we're having a look at the Focke-Wulf A8. Now, one of the cool things that I can do when I come to these museums, uh, because of you guys, because of my Patreons, is um, actually get you know, beyond the barrier and actually get really close and uh, cozy with the actual aircraft. Now, we can't film a full-on episode on this bird just now, but I want to show you guys a few little cool things that we can do, and that is actually go under the aircraft and have a look inside. Now, I'm going to have to put a little bit of a torch flight here. Uh, first thing I want to show you guys, obviously, that's the uh, inboard um, or near the uh, central fuselage cannon, one of four that the A8 actually has. If we look inside, this is something you probably will not have seen in such a pristine condition before, since this has been very recently restored. You see the actual engine, BMW 801. The A8, of course, is uh, sort of the zenith of the Anton design. And then if we look all the way up, you just see the glimpse of it, uh, that little bit of an aluminium sheen up there. Those are the machine guns of the, uh, the Focke Wolf right there. So might actually be a little bit surprising to some of you how much sort of quote unquote space there is in here. Uh, of course here, very strong mounting struts for the engine as well. As we shuffle up towards the starboard side then, another cannon right here. Uh, let's move on to the uh, starboard wing here. We've got another 20 millimeter cannon, of course, sticking out here for, as I said, a lot of firepower in the A8 being used for anti-bomber duties. Uh, there's a special term we also use in Germany, Sturmbock. Yeah, these were extra armor given to these uh, aircraft as well, just around the cockpit in order to protect the pilot as he's going against the, uh, the bomber formations. Of course, over there, we also see the fabled 88, which uh, Germany used, the Luftwaffe used, German ground defenses used against the Allied bombing streams both day and night. And as we move around here on the tail side, you know, this is actually a magnificent aircraft, really, since it was very recently restored. It is perfectly pristine. Another thing we can look in, uh, inside here, which you wouldn't be able to see from the barrier, you see the air bottles, you see some of the electrical and uh, navigational equipment inside as well, as we squeeze the camera in there. This is, of course, one of the access hatches that some of the maintenance guys would be using in order to... Uh, have access themselves and then quick look perhaps inside the cockpit we can't really get inside at the moment but uh, you'll see the Revy side a little bit offset to the right as is standard for the Germans and although it does look cramped the uh, overall visibility in the Focke Wolf was relatively good. Maybe not as good as in a clean bubble top design that we see amongst the Americans, the P-51s, the P-47s, once they move away from the Razorback, but it is still pretty damn good. Watching the L run here, coming full circle to the front of the aircraft, absolutely magnificent, of course. So if you do come to Berlin, if you do want to see an A8 in pristine condition, do check out Berlin Ghetto Museum here, Militärhistorische Museum of the Bundeswehr. And yeah, that concludes our round. I hope you guys enjoyed it.